This is um, female patient, Miss Glenn. She's her own historian. She is a new patient. She's 67 years old. She's got left knee pain and she's had it for a month and it's just getting worse. She's taking Celebrex, which helps to alleviate most of the pain, but not all of it. So she's not exercising. She's not go, undergoing any in, injections currently for treatment. Her diagnosis, uh, I'm sorry, her medications are metformin and Celebrex. So I'm gonna pick up that metformin and I'm gonna look for diabetes if I'm, when I'm going through reviewing this chart. And you will learn as you go through the charts, you will learn, you will learn key words to pick up on as to what to look for. Like if I just picked up this chart and I'm reviewing it for the first time, you're not gonna take metformin unless you've got diabetes. So I'm gonna write that down just in my notes. And I get to allergies, past medical history, she has diabetes, which is what we were just talking about. All right, her review of symptoms. Um, she has no disorders. She is without unexpected weight loss or signs of infections. There's, she's a retired teacher, no alcohol, no tobacco. Not significant in the family history. She has retro patellar crepitation and tenderness throughout her mid, uh, that should be medial joint line, not medical. She has varus alignment of the knee, intact sensation or, or pulses are palpable. This AP lateral of the knee ordered and interpreted today in the office revealed clarification. So we've got degenerative arthritis in the left knee. So the pain is a symptom that is from a definitive diagnosis of the arthritis. All right, and he's going to start joint lubrication therapy and PT. All right, let's come up here and let's look at our diagnoses. All right, this patient's here. We know why they're here. So we're going to put M17.12. That is our degenerative arthritis of our knee. We're going to identify the diabetes with our E11.9, our metformin with Z79.84. Okay, now we've got to do our e and &M and look at this to see what level we want to put this in. We've got a chronic illness with progression. That gives us a moderate, doesn't it? Once again, we have an X-ray ordered and interpreted, and that doesn't mean, an Blessed, I'm glad you asked that question earlier because I want to explain something here. We don't have a radiologist. We just have a physician that looked at it and decided it was degenerative arthritis. Okay, so he can't bill that 26 as a technical component. He's the actual physician here doing the service with his equipment. But we can't, we can't count it in our E&M anyway because we are billing for it. So we get a risk, um, a data element of minimal to none. And then our risk is PT ordered, that's low. So we get a e &M level of 99203. But we've got to have the modifier 25 because when we have two CPT codes, because 99203, it's an e and yeah. but it's, a CP, it's in our CPT finders, code finders, we've got to put that modifier of 99203 with a 25. And for our x-ray here of our knee, we've got to identify left. We're not going to bill for interpretation. We're billing 
far the actual procedure done in the office today. And this is this is basically what we were talking about, why you can't build. But I want you to go back and look at those E&M guidelines. They, they're long. I know they're long, but they're specific. But I want you to take your time to go back and read those guidelines. Uh, please, can we go to the, to, the, uh, to the notes again, the office notes? Okay, let me enlarge it again. Okay, office, where do you want me to go? Office notes, the office notes, the record. I'm there. Okay, yes. Uh, the, the patient has been taking Celebrex. And uh, I feel these are, is this not part of the medication? Can't we have this as part of medication? Because I also know that Celebrex is a prescription drug. It is, it is. Um, but there's no management of it. He just mentions it. There's no monitoring of it. We wanna go back and look at our definitions for prescription drug management in those e &M guidelines. What we wanna pick up here is he documented it, but it is not part of the treatment today. He didn't change it. He didn't review it. He didn't, he didn't in any way do anything but document that she's on it. And you're gonna see that a lot. They'll document the medication that the patient's on, but that doesn't qualify for prescription drug management unless he addresses the Celebrex. And if he changed, if he had changed the dosage, we could have certainly picked up on that. But all he's done is tell us that she's on that. That would be the same thing metformin cannot be, uh, you can't get a prescription drug management out of that because all this is is documentation that the patient's on it. There's no management being done for these prescription drugs. Okay, so I just want to be clear on this also. With okay. documentation of only metformin, without no documentation apart from just, okay, current medication metformin, can we still code that the, uh, the patient is diabetic? Was your question asking me if the patient's on metformin and this is not listed? Yes. No, you cannot. Now, in the office, you would definitely look through that chart and query the physician. But we don't have a scenario like that because that that would really cause some controversial questions and coding, but that is a very good question. What if he fails to document that? Physicians are, are human just like you and I, so they may forget to document that. You're going to have an entire chart in front of you when you're coding blessing. And in that chart, you may find that diabetic documented somewhere else. Remember, you can use it. What we have here is abbreviated scenarios that we're coding from. But when you have that entire patient chart, if it's in that chart, you can code it. So if you see metformin, you want to look for diabetes. Now, what if it's really not in that chart? Then you want to go back and question either your coding manager or if you're working individually for a physician, can you give me a diagnosis that would link to the metformin? But if it wasn't here in this scenario, you would not have coded it. Got to be documented. If it's not documented, it doesn't exist in the coder's world. We can't pull from words without pull from medication without a linking diagnosis, assuming that this patient's diabetic. Okay. 